Hello, this is Dr. Keith Schubert. So this is a video answer to um, trying to understand the multiplication hardware. So this is a one simple setup to do boost algorithm. So let's kind of walk through the parts of it. <clears throat> We've got UV, I've denoted as SR for shift register because we have to do that shifting um, in every cycle we have to shift to the right when it goes on. <clears throat> Similarly, um, X also is denoted as a shift register because it also has to shift to the right. I have a single flip-flop for X to the minus 1 because we have to hold that. Um, y is not being denoted as anything special, I just need to be able to do a parallel read out of it. Um, because I'm going to either add or subtract it. The rest of everything that goes on here depends on what's going on. If, um, for instance, the value in X, the last bit is the bit that's coming out here first. You'd have to, on a shift register, you'd have to read them multiple times. So when I'm coming out the top or the bottom, it's a parallel read. If I'm coming out the side, then it's a single bit read at a time in classic shift register style. So I'm coming out the side here. This is also loading one bit at a time. So when I want it to load up here, I'm loading in parallel and I am reading in parallel because I'm going out top or bottom. <clears throat> All right, so I'm reading the last bit, which is the zero bit. It's coming out and going into the XOR and the X minus one. So the XOR will check if the last bit of x and x to the minus 1 are different. If they're different, I'm either going to do an add or subtract. Well, that'll be a 1, so I'll either do the add or subtract. So I've got an adder here available to me, or technically an add or subtractor because I have a mode bit. Um, so if those two bits are different, it'll select the different line. If they're not different, it'll just keep the same value. So it won't change. <clears throat> All right. Um, so that takes care of that. Then the only other question is, when does it add or subtract? Well, it adds or subtracts based on you do a subtraction if it, the pattern is 1, 0. So that means this bit would be a 1. So I'll, that's the same mode bit for um, a standard adder to shift and to subtract. So I just take that bit and run it into the mode bit. Um, so that does subtract. But 0, 1, again different is the code inside a boost to tell it to add. Well, that's zero is the same mode bit for addition on a standard add or subtractor. So all I have to do is take the last bit of x and run it into my adder, and that gives me the correct mode bit. So um, I don't have to worry about that at all. <clears throat> so this setup that's going in will do each of the individual steps. Now what might be helpful is to just run through an example where this is. So typically UV starts out as zeros. And let's do the exact one that we did in class. We'll do the uh, 4 times negative 7. So I'll put 4 in here. I just did this on a video a few seconds ago. So hopefully I'll remember all these. So I had 4 and negative 7. So this is kind of where all of those things that were in the table would be distributed in amongst the algorithm. <clears throat> now, what we would have is we'd also have a timing thing for each one of these flip-flops that go on. And I'm going to use the positive edge of the clock to do all the calculations and the negative edge to do the shifting. So when I hit the first positive edge, the combinationals are all nice and running and set up. I see a 1 here. That 1's going to come in and that'll become a subtraction, so it's going to do minus. So it's going to do all zeros minus 4. And what you'll get coming out will be 1, 1, 0, 0. All right, so that's 0 minus 4. Now you can just also take the 2's complement as a person. But that's what it will produce. So that's going to get selected. Now, it's a 1 here and a 0 here, so the 1 is there and a 0 is there. That's different, so we'll get a 1. So that value will come around and it will get loaded in. So this is going to get loaded in the first half of the cycle, which is 1100. Zero, zero. <clears throat> so that's my calculation. And then I hit the second half and now it does the shift. So since this is an arithmetic shift, though each of these bits is going to shift over, do, 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 
and the first bit will also be kept. Um, this one is also going to shift, but I've got a new bit fed in, so um, this one will come out and it's going to be what's going to come in, and this one's going to shift over into here, and everything else slides. So we'll see one, one, zero, zero. And that's the end of the first cycle. We we'll go into the second cycle, and I see a zero, one. They're different, so this line is going to be connected. And it's a zero here, so it's addition. So I'm going to have negative two plus four, and I'll get two. Okay. And that's going to go through, and it's going to get loaded. So that's the first half, right? So I got the that part. Now I do the shift registers. That's going on. All these shift over one. And all those shifted too, but they're zero, so I don't have to erase them. Now, for these ones, the zero is going to come in here, and the zero is going to come around, and everything shifts down. So I've now hit the end of the second cycle, start of the third. <coughs> I see zero, zero. They're not different, so now this line's going to go through, which means it doesn't matter whether it's, I mean, it would technically do an addition, but it's not going to be used, so who cares. Um, but this is going to get carried through, and it's going to write itself back in. So, in essence, nothing changes. And then we hit the bottom of the third, and everything shifts, which means this zero is going to move over, and that one's going to move there. And then this is going to shift, the zero comes in, it's already there, a zero comes around, everything shifts. Start of the fourth. They're different, so this is the line that's going to go through. It's a one, so it's going to do subtraction here. And I've got zero minus four, which gives you negative four. That carries through and gets written in. So that's the top of the fourth, the bottom of the fourth. We now come in and we do all of our shifts. So this shifts over, the zero that had been there shifts over, the one shifts over, and we have this. These ones shift, this one's going to go in here and it'll come around to the start, and then everything shifts. So. What we end up with is we end up with negative 7 back in our x as we wanted. It was preserved. Right? That bit doesn't matter. It'll get zeroed out next time I go to use it, so who cares? Right? This one still obviously have its value. And then what we have in here is the answer, um, which when we convert it over, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and then all zeros, and then that was obviously a negative because of the lean sign bit. So the number is negative 16 plus 8 is 24 plus 4 is 28, so negative 28. So we multiplied 4 and negative 7 and got negative 28. So we can just verify it was right. So you can see that how that works and is able to carry forth the operation of multiplication that goes on by a relatively simple circuit, but it takes multiple cycles. It goes on. You can speed this up by instead just doing patterns of one. You can block them two at a time. There's all kinds of different ways to go about things. Um, but you can definitely get some performance improvements that go in. Um, it will also matter how good of an adder do you put in here. You know. So depending on the size of that, you know, going to something like a carry look ahead for this size would be great. So anyway, um, hopefully this makes more sense how the hardware works out in there. And I will see you in class.